Today we're going to look at the while loop in C++. The while loop is one of two conditional loops that C++ provides for us. The while loop says that while a given condition occurs, it's going to execute the body of the while loop. This is known as a pretest loop, meaning that the test is done before we ever run the body. That's very important because the body may never run if our initial condition is not met. So let's take a look at how we're going to build the while loop. Now in this example, we're going to look at providing two numbers and seeing if a person can add those two numbers together. If they add them together correctly, we're not going to make them do any more work. We're just going to exit out. If they do need to do it again because they added it incorrectly, then we're going to provide a message and let them continue to keep on asking for the answer until they finally get it. So let's look at how we're going to do this. Now, so far, just so you notice, I've added two include statements, C time and C standard library. Both of these are going to be used based upon some of the tools that we're going to do, mainly for getting some random values. So let's first initialize our random value generator. And we specify it first by using srand and passing the value of time. Now we're going to create two values and use those using the random number generator. And finally, we're going to have an integer to store our answer. Now let's pose a question to our user. So we provide a question, what is num1 plus num2? And we use cn to get the answer for that number. Now, this is where we're going to use our while statement. We're going to specify while answer is not equal to num1 plus num2. So when the answer is not equal to num1 plus num2, we're going to repeat the question and ask for the answer back. We'll provide a little bit of extra information. And once again, we have our question that we asked earlier. This will continue running as long as they get an incorrect answer. If we go and run this, we get what is 86 plus 63. If I type in 149, notice that my condition is not met and my loop body never runs. So let's try it where our condition is going to be met. What is 55 plus 3? Let's say. 52. Let's say I accidentally subtracted. Sorry, 52 is not correct. Please try again. That is inside of our while loop. And I can try a whole variety of different things. And it will keep on generating this message while the answer does not equal our condition. So until I type in the correct answer of 58, we will never exit from this application. This is a real simple while loop that's just checking a condition. We have a lot of different times that we're going to use a conditional type of loop. And we'll see some of these in the near future in other videos. Another common example where you use the while loop is when you're checking for some information from a user. Now, this can be really simple, like, do you want to continue? Yes, no. And we're checking that information. or using what we sometimes call a sentinel value. And a sentinel value may be, for example, if I'm getting a string of numbers, but I'm looking for a specific number. So I might say, please provide a list of numbers to add up together, enter zero to exit. Let's take a quick look at how we use a while loop using this sentinel type of operation. So I have two integers, my number that I'm going to use to get my input and my running total. So we have our 
prompt and our input, real simple like we've seen before. Now let's use our while statement. While number is not equal to zero. Now, as long as the user does not enter the number, our while loop will continue to run. It will add the number that was just entered to our running total and then ask for another number. If I type in zero early on, because it's a pretest, the loop never runs. However, I can type in a whole variety of different numbers and it keeps processing until I finally hit zero. And when I type in zero, it will now give me the running total. And this will continue on and on and on until I got that zero. So that's just how the while loop will be used for using a sentinel. This is sometimes called a sentinel while loop in order to take user input and continuously process it until a certain condition is met.